Welcome to this week's episode of Humans in Five. Now, we know that restrictions look different in different parts of the world due to the current pandemic, but many people who are able to are still working from home. We think we're extremely privileged and lucky to be able to work from home, as there are many who don't get to enjoy this luxury. We are so grateful to be avoiding a lot of the risks that may come from leaving home for work. But wherever people are working from these days, people in many different spheres have noticed that we're all working a lot more these days. For example, a recent study in the UK noticed that workers have increased their working hours by about 25% and are working on average at least two hours more each day in their jobs. Workers have noticed that they're being expected to do more work than ever before and are also taking fewer breaks during the day. Many people are working through lunch and finding that their typical split of work time and home time is increasingly disappearing. Students working through the pandemic online have also noticed that they feel like they're doing more, yet somehow getting less done. Information isn't necessarily sticking in quite the same way. There's been a lot of frustration out there, which has us wondering how our bodies might be working against us as we try to get some work done in these pretty trying times. One clue lies in the fact that These are trying times. We're not working or learning from home just because we think it's a cool idea, but because we're living through an emergency situation where this is the safest way to go forward. Even with the most planning a person could do, this is still a stressful time for people everywhere, no matter how much planning or foresight we may use when making our work from home plans. Now, what happens when we're stressed? As we mentioned a few weeks ago on another episode, our bodies release cortisol, a hormone that can help our bodies prepare for stress in the short term. As we discussed before, over the long term, however, cortisol can have some weird effects on our bodies. One study conducted a few years ago by a team of researchers in Germany focused on some of the effects of cortisol, particularly as it affects neuronal plasticity, or the ways that our brains can reorganize as we make new connections and take on new information. They were also interested to see how learning might be affected by chemicals like cortisol in our systems. They found that people who had high levels of cortisol given in short intervals had some difficulties with learning when participating in certain experiments. The participants' ability to learn certain perceptual skills, like detecting how far apart two points are when someone touches your skin, was reduced. Those who had higher levels of hormones, like cortisol, weren't as good at this test as those who had less elevated hormone levels. So, if you're noticing that you're not quite taking in new information in the same way, there might be some hormonal influences at play, as we're all feeling a little more stressed these days. Of course, other factors like mental health may also play a role, so it's always good to check in with either your doctor or a mental health practitioner if you find these days are getting you down. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Humans in 5. And don't forget to subscribe!